arrive in London because Netflix, uh, for some reason, they found out that I love English period dramas. So they've sent me here to cover season two of The Crown. I'm super excited. I'll share with you a bit more about why I love English period dramas. I think it's a combination of the history because a lot of them are steeped in actual historical facts. I think secondly, I love the costumes, you know, the way they dress and I love the language. Don't drink all the bloody beer. So we're going to explore a little bit of all of these on this trip. It is such a lovely day today. Look at that. Okay, we're here just in time to see this. So we're hurrying along because apparently we're so lucky as to catch the changing of the guards. We are now at Buckingham Palace and I've always wondered what it's like in there but after watching The Crown, I realised there's a lot of politics. Do I have your support? The Prime Minister always has the Sovereign's support. In a lot of drama. You don't come with butts. Margaret? Margaret! So I've always kind of wanted to be the Queen, but then after watching the show, I'm like, I don't think she has a lot of fun. I've never felt more alone than I have in the past five months. I think I'll just be plain on me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm from Tracy and we're about to get hats made. Check out this one. That is the red carpet that we're getting ready to walk. And that's why this came. So it's a bit of a crazy right now. <laughs> it's time now to go interview the stars. What is Rumpy Pumpy? Sorry, do tell. Frolicking. Frolicking, there and thereabouts. It's not very proper at all. You know. 